India story, making in India for India and are proudly wearing their Indian tag. First up, I'm in conversation with Panasonic, someone who's synonymous with most of the gadgets that you will have in your home and in your offices. I'm also in conversation tonight with our FMCG major, Wow Skin Science. Thank you so much for doing this interview here with us on The Leaders of Tomorrow and we're doing a series of conversations around Atman Nirbhar companies. Now you embody Atman Nirbhar uh, because you're manufacturing here in India, you're one of the largest manufacturers, you have 15 manufacturing locations across the country. You're manufacturing in India, for India, but also for the globe. Uh, and we'll come to you know some of those different aspects of your business. But uh, first off, thanks so much for taking the time to speak to us. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me here. You said it right, actually, and incidentally, this year, uh, while we celebrate 75 years of our independence, uh, internally within Panasonic, additional to this, we are also celebrating 50 years of our presence in the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, we came into this country in 1972 to set up a joint venture for manufacturing dry cell batteries mm -hmm. and in some sense that was the need of that particular hour uh, because you know uh, the energy was deficit and uh, the penetration of uh, electricity into households was still limited so Panasonic then in 1972 came and established this facility to manufacture dry cell batteries in 1972. So mm -hmm. we, in some sense, are also witnessing a milestone this year. Absolutely, and a milestone, if I can call it that, also has been this entire journey where you are, of course, one of the largest consumer products manufacturer and, you know, um, uh, uh, leader when it comes to the country but the evolution now is to go from consumer products to solutions True. and you're also you now your consumer life uh, Panasonic you know life solutions yes. and just talk to us about what that journey is like and where you see yourself being positioned in let's say the next five years so many of us you know including my case when I was growing up uh, looked at Panasonic as a company which uh, produces audio products, televisions, mm -hmm. and the perception still continues. And many people believe that Panasonic is into consumer durables, yeah. televisions. But that's a small percentage that of That is a very total. tiny fraction of yeah. what we do in India and also globally. Mm -hmm. And uh, to just to set the perspective, uh, uh, this is only about 30 to 35 percent mm -hmm. of our business in our country and the remaining business is coming out of variety of other verticals which are impacting peoples and enterprises in a very large way they are creating a large value for our customers and also for enterprises and a significant portion of uh, the top line uh, globally also and in India also comes out of B2B oriented businesses mm -hmm. and I think we are evolving as a company as you rightly mentioned from merely being a product provider to a solution provider. Now to make it simple, I'll give you one instance. For example, within the living spaces, mm -hmm. as we all understand that Panasonic is into consumer durables and appliances. Mm -hmm. Now on one axis, we have these products already being proposed to consumers. So when it comes to televisions, air conditioners, mm -hmm. the strategy very clearly is to continuously upgrade the level of convenience, comfort, a better energy efficiency for people, a safer, a durable product. So this has been the uh, center of our consideration when it comes to designing and proposing these products to consumers. But what makes Panasonic very unique? On one axis, we have these consumer appliances, cutting across durables and to kitchen appliances, beauty care products. Yeah. And on the other axis, we have the erstwhile anchor electricals, as we all know. This company is into uh, switches, wires, wiring devices, uh, geysers, LED lights, solar panels, those kind of products. Mm -hmm. Now these products essentially go into construct of a home. Mm -hmm. Now how many companies are in a position to propose these products in total riding on a digital platform to create connected living for people which essentially is more about a better comfort and convenience to people and as I said energy efficiency also. This is our immediate intention. Sure. So I started this conversation by talking about Atman Nirbhar in the series of interviews we're doing. What makes you so excited about the Indian market? Where's that growth coming from? In the first instance, being an Indian, 
this inspires me to take uh, additional steps in this direction and to make my little contribution in this direction uh, which is very important for the country and uh, i have personally taken this agenda up to make this contribution and as an organization as i said we have been here for last 50 years yeah. in some sense it is a reflection of our commitment to the indian society mm -hmm. and uh, we already started to consider manufacturing majority of products which we are proposing uh, to the Indian market and to let the assembly happen within the country. But I think this is just one step in that direction. You know, carrying out only assembly operations will not solve the purpose. Till the time we also backward integrate. Mm -hmm. So our strategy clearly is divided into three steps, which quite in line is with the direction of creating Aath Nirbhar Bharat in the coming years. Mm -hmm. This essentially means that not only we assemble the products which are consumed in the country, but also we backward integrate mm -hmm. and start the production of uh, components which go into these assemblies to also happen in the country. Mm -hmm. Now, not all of this can be done by Panasonic. Therefore creating partnerships sure. and creating this ecosystem of small and medium enterprises around our own base is one of our interest and intention. And third mm -hmm. is not only like assemble and create backward integration, but also enable exports to happen out of our country. Mm -hmm. And economies of scale are extremely important. And as we all understand that majority of areas we deal with, the penetration rate is still very low. So in the time to come, we are expecting that in line with consistent growth of the domestic consumption, economies of scale will get created for the industry itself and we'll become more competitive when it comes to enabling exports. This is the direction which we are taking. Okay. Uh, I want to take a step back and look at the big picture when it comes to the domestic market and ask for you to really talk about first and foremost, uh, and we're in the 10th edition of the Leaders of Tomorrow and we love asking you know people like yourself to talk about the big opportunities and challenges when it comes to your space. So I want to talk manufacturing today. And there are a couple of things. First and foremost, let's talk about the PLI scheme. Yeah. Big boost coming in for businesses, large businesses at least, because the MSMEs that we are talking to, who's our target audience, are saying they don't really qualify for PLI because the thresholds are too high. But for a business like yourself, first and foremost, how has PLI impacted you and how has it benefited you? And um, how, you know, how do you see this really panning out in the next two, three years, perhaps? Yeah, so first of all, I must uh, say that uh, my experience uh, both into formulation of uh, the deliberations which went into uh, creation of PLI scheme itself. I want to share that experience and thankfully sitting into the capacity of being chair in FIKI's Electronics Manufacturing Committee mm -hmm. and also being inducted into sale committee which is responsible for carrying out these deliberations, bringing the industry and the associations together. I was very lucky to be part of this entire deliberation over the last couple of years. And my experience is such that while government was engaging with the industry quite consistently. Over the last couple of years, looking at the kind of opportunity which is ahead of us, the discussions have become very objective and the decision making is much more faster than what it used to be. Okay, you're talking this, at the government level. At the government and also the dialogue which happens between government and industry. So okay. it's very inclusive and it has become more objective over a period of time. Second is, uh, you know, while being into scale committee also, I have an experience of uh, many deliberations which cut across these 14 sectors uh, essentially in line with the agenda of Aath Nirbhar Bharat and uh, my opinion is that uh, there is so much of opportunity for small and medium enterprises also mm -hmm. and this gets quantified with the participation which has happened for example I'll give you one instance the PLI for air conditioners yeah. has not received participation from large manufacturers like us and of course Panasonic has also participated in that and the global majors have also participated in that and for example air conditioner industry is unique where the contribution coming out of global multinational companies mm -hmm. and domestic companies is there and also cutting across large medium and small enterprises we have received 61 applications mm -hmm. and the total scale is about 6600 crores of uh, investment mm -hmm. and this cuts across 61 companies and these are not only large companies they would be only about 10 to 12 large companies and then there are many small and medium enterprises in this mm -hmm. so in that sense there is so much of participation which has already happened so i would to some extent differ on the opinion that the opportunity because of any reason of small and medium enterprises okay. do not exist so okay. that that is happening and second is as we gain economies of scale so what is the challenge today for small and medium enterprises i believe it is scale and as the scale builds over the next few years, the participation of these companies will also improve.
I'll take a quick break. When we come back, wow in focus.